Hello, and welcome to this video for Physics 131 on the normal force. The goal of this video is to introduce you to some of the basic properties of the normal force above and beyond those that were discussed in the overview of forces and categorization of forces videos. So what is the normal force? The normal force is the force that keeps objects from passing through each other. The canonical example introduced in the overview of forces video is that of a book sitting on a table. The force of gravity tries to pull the book down through the table. Clearly the book does not go through the table and so we are forced to conclude that there must be some type of force from the table on the book pushing upwards to balance this. We call this the normal force. In general, a normal force can be thought of as any time one object pushes on another. In the example of the book on the table, the table is pushing on the book upward, keeping it from falling through. Another example with an active agent is a person pushing on a box. What actually is the force on the box? It's a normal force from the hand on the box. At the molecular level, the normal force arises from the electrons in one surface repelling the electrons in the other surface. But we overlook this microscopic level detail and just call the net effect the normal force. It's worth taking a few minutes to talk about the connections between the normal force and a scale. The question essentially is, what do scales actually read? Well, you might think that the scale just reads the amount of weight put on it. Here, I have a 100 gram mass, and when I put it on the scale, this scale reads 100.1 grams. However, that's not all scales can measure, because if I take my finger and press on the scale, we see that I can get the number to go up. So what does the scale actually measure? It measures the amount of force being applied to the scale. In essence, the scale reads the normal force. In summary, scales measure the force with which you press on them. They measure the force with which one object, my finger and this weight, push on another, the platform of the scale. Scales measure the normal force. This is an important fact to remember as we will be using a variant of a scale known as a force plate in class. So let's summarize the characteristics of the normal force. The normal force is a contact force. The two objects must be in contact for the normal force to be present, as discussed in your categorization of forces video. The normal force is also a constraint force. This is also discussed in your categorization of forces video. This means that there's no formula for the magnitude of the normal force. It takes on whatever value is needed to keep Newton's second law true. It's also important to remember that the normal force is always, well, normal. Normal means perpendicular in mathematic ease, and the normal force is always perpendicular to the surface, as indicated by the right angles in these pictures. Finally, it's important to remember that scales measure the normal force. This concludes this video.